welcome back to the channel everybody if you cannot tell the new truck camper is ready to be camped in and that is exactly what we're going to be doing tonight it's going to be a cold one going to get down to below freezing temps we're going to end the winter camping season really strong with this camper right here i'm just super excited to finally put this thing to use and um yeah i worked very hard on this thing if you guys have not seen the build video of me building this i highly recommend going and checking it out it's just I DIY'd it, okay? There's some uh, some things that aren't perfect, uh, which you guys might see throughout this video, and that's okay, but honestly, I'm just really proud of myself, so let's see how she sleeps, how much fun it is cooking in here, and let's just have a good night. I'm very, very excited right now. I think I already said that I'm excited, so in case you guys didn't know, I'm very excited. Our campsite for tonight is really awesome. We have a river behind us, a little stream right there which i'm not sure if you guys can hear but i can and it, you can just hear the little waterfall it's amazing we can definitely go check that out in the morning it's literally right there it's just a small little waterfall but i can hear it so it should be a peaceful night and mm, just super excited i wanted to camp somewhere in the woods and i think i think we did that cold woodsy beautiful combination all right let's hop in the bed of the truck get things situated we're gonna have a really great dinner tonight that i'm super stoked about we got a lot going on. Oh, it just looks so good in here. The little seat, the table that flips up. The tailgate's definitely one of my favorite parts. The bed just looks so comfy. It's gonna be a good sleep. Okay, we're gonna get cooking. I brought a table to put my two burner stove on. And the reason being is um, I need to get a smaller one. This one is about two and a half years old, I think. Just about. And it's ancient, it's old, and it's too big and bulky. And there's a lot better ones out in the market now. But I just, you know, ran out of budget while doing this truck build. So we're going to hold off on that for a little bit. But in no time, we're going to actually have one that's going to fit on our counter space. Um, I knew that going into the build, but, you know. That's on the list next. Okay. I forgot groceries in my truck. I'm a mess today. I'm a mess. I don't know if that's better or worse, but I can see a lot better, so sorry. New Guggen Squad water bottles, by the way, on the website. If you guys want to go check them out, their website is always linked down below for you guys. Code Becca, save 10% off, support the channel. Okay, one cup. Tonight we are doing teriyaki chicken rice bowls. Easily one of my favorite meals ever, like ever. Something about rice bowls, they're delicious 24-7. This is our chicken right here. Earlier today at home, I ended up preparing chicken there just so we didn't make a crazy mess. I cut some chicken up, diced it up into some cubes. I ended up adding some Lari's teriyaki marinade, let this sit in the freezer to marinate for a couple of hours. And now here we are, it should be good and delicious. And the rest of the chicken went towards Skye's dinner. Um, I give her, or I try to give her fresh chicken with her dog food. Maybe I do like the light better. This is it, this is the last time, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, it's staying on. As I was saying, I need to get a new one. There's no knob on this one, so I'm gonna try to borrow this knob. Yeah, there we go. That should work just fine. We're just gonna share some knobs today. It broke but it's gonna do justice to stir the chicken. The water is boiling, one cup water, one cup rice. We're gonna pour this in, mix it up really quickly, and then we're gonna cover it and set it to the side, and then the rice is done. Oh, I can't turn the burner off. Next. Cut up some cucumber, make sure they're as thin as possible. That's just how I like them. If you can make the slices, the thinner the better. 
Wait, I have a cut. I have a table now. Wow, that's. This is a, the perfect avocado. That never happens. All right, chicken done. Chicken is done. I'm gonna turn that off. Easiest way to cut an avocado is just peel it like a banana. That's it. It's my best advice. Kind of looks weird looking at a naked avocado. Teriyaki rice bowl. Top that with some green onions. There we go. That looks absolutely insane. We're gonna clean up quick so we can set up our table and sit and eat. This is the best idea I think I've ever had, having this table. It is so incredible. Let's try our rice bowl. One last look for you guys. It is quite beautiful. Uh-huh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's good. The first meal in the truck is definitely a success in my book. I definitely need a new propane stove. If you have any recommendations for like a smaller tube burner propane stove that's not crazy expensive, which I know is a hard request, <laughs> drop in the comments down below. I'm definitely curious um, what's on the market. I should do some digging myself. I just don't want it. To, the one that I have, the tube burner stove, is it's so bulky for no reason. Like very bulky. It's getting cold out. We're going to add some hot sauce. Just probably shake it. Um... Do you shake hot sauce or is that just a weird thing I do? Chipotle. This is my favorite hot sauce right now. My favorite hot sauce changes at least every six months. Catch up with you guys in six months, but right now this one's my favorite. It's not even that hot if I'm being honest. I think that's why I like it because it's not crazy hot. I'm not really that great with spice, but I, I like to put hot sauce in everything for no reason. It's like I know I can't handle hot sauce, so I just like push myself for no reason. <laughs> it's getting quite cold. Very fast. You know, I'm even more happy with this setup than I thought I could ever be. This new truck build, unbelievable. Unbelievable. And it's so easy to put the table down. I don't have to eat in bed every single time. I'm a big fan. It's my favorite time of the night where I get to put all the curtains up and no one can see in here at all. I don't know why. I love doing it though. Ta-da! It's so cozy when all the curtains are up. I don't know how to explain it, but it's amazing. Before I forget, I installed this, and it's a little cup holder right next to the bed. So, oops. <laughs> so I don't spill my drinks anymore, which, you know, happened here and there. I just wanted to make sure to think of nearly everything with this build, and I feel like I have done that. Everything that you guys kind of see here, like the latch, the cup holder, and a bunch of other miscellaneous random things are at my, like, Amazon storefront. I don't know. I saw that people were doing it, and I made one. So, that's linked down below if you guys want to check that out, too. I don't really know, but hopefully that link works. If it does work, comment down below, because I don't know if the link even works. <laughs> but either way, we got a cup holder now so happy about that 
It's just so cozy in here. This is not a cheap sleeping bag at all. I think I paid nearly 300 bucks for this thing and it's only a season old. I only used it this winter. That was the first time I used it. And the zipper is complete junk. Can't get it on the traction right. It's just, I don't get it. Luckily, I have my heated blanket for tonight, so I'm not that worried, but say I didn't have my heated blanket, I would be worried. <laughs> uh, well, I guess that's the last time I buy from this brand. I don't even know the name of the brand. Yeah. <laughs> Aren't you camping out here? Yeah, you gotta uh, eat fish, right? Yeah, <laughs> nice to meet you, Becca. Pleasure. I've camped here a couple times. No one usually bothers me, so I kind of like it here. Okay. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Thank you, appreciate it. Have a good one. Well, I probably did a terrible job at recording that. No one comes down here, not at night this time of year at least it's um yeah it's not a normal spot for many people to come like hang out at least from my experience so i kind of like this spot no one comes down here it's it's like far off the beaten path uh but there is like a little boat kayak ramp behind me so people come here but again not normally this time of year per se anyways I saw the lights flash because there's a little sliver of my curtain that I usually leave open on the top and I saw someone's truck light kind of shoot across so I've been like eyeing this truck behind me um, and I just didn't think he was going to get out. I didn't know who it was or anything and I, I was like watching him from the curtain for a couple minutes and then I was like mm, whatever maybe he's just hanging out. I have no idea. <laughs> Beats me. I'm going to keep an eye on him or whatever. And I was messing around with my heated blanket, and all of, a, all of a sudden I hear, police, police. And I was like, oh man, the cops. I did a terrible job recording that. I'm very well aware. But um, I was scrambling and just trying to be respectful. So, um, you know, I didn't want to like shine a camera on his face. <laughs> um, but he recognized who I was. And that, that was the coolest thing, I think. <laughs> that was the coolest thing ever i got to shake his hand i'm sh i just watched the footage over the audio is not good um i apologize but yeah he was really nice um i there is a sign here saying no overnight parking but i believe that's for the other parking area i don't know um but he was completely fine he was like all right yeah no worries i think he was just making sure it was okay you know because people do overnight fish here at night a lot um, but not really this time of year, so I think he was just making sure that, like, I wasn't out there alone or, or I was drowned out there while kayaking or something, so it was more of a wellness check, um, but he didn't care. He was just like, okay, have a good night, bye. I was like, oh, cool. That was fun. That was really cool. I like meeting, um, people when I'm camping. Maybe not at, like, 10 o'clock at night when I'm getting cozy in bed but he was a sweet guy that was that was kind of funny I honestly did not think anybody was gonna come down here tonight um let alone a cop truthfully so I think that was kind of cool that was that was cool if you're watching this video and you're the cop that just came down to me you're really nice and I appreciate it and yeah, that's it. <laughs> First night in the new truck camper, made a really good dinner, and uh, had a wake-up call. Or well, I wasn't asleep, but you know what I mean, a wake-up call from a cop. Anyways, always good to keep things entertaining, I guess. <laughs> oh, the zipper completely broke. This is the heated blanket, the zipper. This thing completely came off. And I just had to put it back on the track of the zipper. 
And now it just won't go back to normal. So sleeping bag, no bueno. Well, I'm gonna hit the hay. And tomorrow morning we'll do some exploring and go from there. But I'm getting tired, so I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. It's freezing. I mean, it's not terrible, but it's not it's not warm. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's it says it's 32 degrees in here. I don't really know how accurate these things always are, but yeah, it's not warm, not terribly cold, but could be worse. This heated blanket saved my life last night, considering my sleeping bag, you know. My sleeping bag was non-existent. <sighs> I'm gonna start the truck so it'll be somewhat warm when we get back. Just a massive log for the first obstacle. It's funny because I've came here so many times and I didn't even know this was here, but this is actually so cool. It's a cold morning. <laughs> whoa, whoa, I just ran into a tree, not wearing my proper shoes. This is the little stream I heard all night. It's super, super clear. That's, uh, you know, the monster waterfall right there. There's another little baby waterfall over there as well. I don't think there could be any fish in here, but it's cool. Oh, no way. Oh my God, one, two, three, four ticks. Oh my God, one tick, two tick, three, four. And that's just the ones that I can see. Oh no. <sighs> It's been established more than one time on this channel that I absolutely hate ticks with a burning passion. I, I hate's a strong word. Ah, uh, I barely got into any brush. I'm not freaking out, I'm okay. Oh, no, I hate this. I have another pair of pants I'm gonna put on quick. These are the pants I was just wearing. Luckily I have way too much clothing in my, my truck for a normal human being. The fact that it's not even spring and the ticks are already that bad. We've only had like two, three really warm days. This is gonna be a really bad tick season. Well, oh, that was fun. What a good way to end the end the overnight you know what i'm saying i'm gonna hit that tree well hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode i had a blast first night in the truck camper was nothing but entertaining honestly we made a good meal of cops went on a nice walk ticks um it was just it was a really fun overnight definitely wouldn't expect anything less for our first ever in the new truck camper I'm gonna go home and make sure to shower 
for about two hours to make sure there's no ticks on me. Of course, I'm being a little bit dramatic, but I just really do not like ticks. Um, you know, Sky has Lyme disease. It, uh, mm -mm, no, 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 not a fan. I'm excited to see what uh, the next couple months bring with the warm weather and the content and hanging out with you guys. But that's all I got. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. And I'll catch you beautiful people on the next one.